Hi friends and welcome to today's video. We will talk about cancer cells and we will discuss what actually is cancer. And the answer to this question is quite simple. So normal cells will divide once in a while. In contrast cancer cells have the property of uncontrolled cell division. They will just get very abundant in a very short amount of time and therefore we speak of highly proliferating cells. When we want to sum that up very quick, cancer cells are basically cells which completely got out of control. Here we have a schematic view on the cell cycle. And we start with the cell growth, which happens in the G1 phase. So the cell will usually just grow there. Then in the S phase, the cell will replicate. So that means it will make a second copy of the DNA. In the G2 phase, which happens closely before the actual division, we have the cell growth again, so the cell will grow even more and it will prepare for mitosis. And the M phase is the actual mitosis, where the cells will divide. We talked about the definition of cancer and we know that they are just cells which completely got out of control. Why did I show you the cell cycle? It is important to mention that there are certain checkpoints on each step of the cell cycle and they are controlled by proteins. But if one protein in this cell cycle is somehow malfunctioning, it can completely change the cell cycle. Let's say this gene here will code for a protein later, which is involved in cell cycle progression. When there is a DNA mutation, which can happen due to several causes such as smoking, such as UV light, and many more random factors actually. And in this case, we assume also that this mutation causes a change in protein somehow. That can possibly lead to a malfunction of the protein and this disturbs the cell cycle. So for example, there is a protein which is involved in cell cycle progression. The DNA mutation can lead to a protein which will highly accelerate the cell cycle. That might be the origin of a cancer cell. So there are basically two types of genetic mutations which can occur on genes. And here we speak about oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes. First we have the proto-oncogene for example which functions as an accelerator in the cell. So proto-oncogenes are involved in cell cycle progression. Whereas tumor suppressor genes act as a break. So there are checkpoints, they try to decelerate the cell cycle. These two types here can undergo mutation. And in the first case for the proto-oncogene, when that is mutated, it becomes an oncogene. And oncogenes are functioning as super accelerators. So first, the proto-oncogene just had the task of controlled cell cycle progression. However, now the oncogene is completely out of control. It leads to a rapid cell cycle progression which in the end leads to a highly proliferating cell mass, which we can then name cancer. Let's look at the tumor suppressor genes here. They usually act as a certain break, so they slow down the cell cycle. When they are mutated in a manner so that they can't break anymore, the cell cycle will also progress rapidly and lead to abundant cell divisions, which we can call cancer. If you're more interested in oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes, I made a video about that and I just put it in the video description and at the end of the video, so you can have a look there. Let's sum up again. We speak of cancer when we have uncontrolled rates of cell division. That's about it for the video. I hope it was helpful for you. It was just a very brief introduction to cancer. If you want to see more, you can watch this video here about oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes. Otherwise, I'm out. I thank you for watching. Goodbye.